Hey everyone, this is Taylor with Kinder Coffee Lab. Welcome to Kinder Coffee School. On today's episode, we are covering some of the coffee processing terminology. You may have heard the phrases naturally processed or washed coffee before and thought to yourself, what does that mean? When coffee is harvested, there's a fruit surrounding the bean. The bean is actually a seed, and in order for it to become suitable for roasting and brewing, something has to be done with that fruit. In different parts of the world, coffee farmers have used different methods based on the resources available to bring out the best possible flavors in that seed. The most common type of processing involves washing the fruit off of the coffee. Used in South America and parts of Africa, this method helps accentuate the flavors specific to the country of origin, as well as the flavors imparted by the fruit during the growing process. While the coffee is growing, the plant deposits sugars and flavors into the seed. Once the coffee cherry is harvested, the fruit is removed and the beans are washed of the mucilage that's underneath. Then the coffee is left to dry. Sometimes it's left on raised beds of mesh in order for the beans to dry more fully and evenly. Other times it will be laid out on a slab of concrete. There's no uniform way to wash and dry the coffee because each farmer has his or her own variation of this method. In general, washed coffees tend to have a very clear flavor profile that is consistent and decidedly acidic. Natural processing is a bit more of an adventure. This method is quite common in places where coffee farms don't have consistent access to water. A lot of naturally processed coffees come from Africa as well as parts of Brazil. After the coffee cherry is picked, the fruit is left on while it's drying in the sunlight. This allows for more of the sugars from the fruit to soak into the seed. The beans are then periodically raked to keep the fruit from molding. After a while, the coffee is collected and the remaining fruit is washed off. This process extends the amount of time the coffee has to acquire new and unique flavors. Natural processing is pretty divisive method. If done wrong, it can effectively ruin the coffee. If it's done right, the coffee produced will have some really fun, funky, and fruity flavors, even some fermenty ones. Honey processing is a mixture of washed and natural processing. The outer fruit is taken off, but the remains are not fully removed. Then the coffee is left to dry. During the process, the leftover sticky bits of fruit become similar in a consistency to honey. That's how the process got its name. The resulting coffee has a bit more complexity than its washed counterpart, while being a bit less fruity than a naturally processed coffee. These three main ways of processing coffee account for the vast majority of all the coffee that you'll encounter on the market. We hope this gives you a little bit more understanding when selecting which coffee is right for you. As always, we at Kinder Coffee Lab are here to help you go on a deeper coffee journey by making sure you have extremely fresh beans delivered to your door so you can brew a perfect cup of coffee. See you next time.